Welcome to this webinar on data analytics in MATLAB. My name is Daniel Winter and I am an Applications Engineer at Optimum Solutions. With MATLAB and its data analysis products, you can perform analysis and gain insight into your data in a fraction of the time required with spreadsheets or traditional programming languages like C, C++ or Visual Basic. MathWorks products combine a powerful numeric engine and programming environment with interactive tools for data analytics, allowing you to develop applications faster without being an expert in data analysis, statistics, or machine learning. This is the generic technical computing workflow, which you would use for any project in MATLAB. First, we start with accessing data from multiple sources. You can access data from files, spreadsheets, databases, test equipment, data acquisition hardware, other software, or the web. You can then explore your data to identify trends, test hypotheses, and estimate uncertainty. You can create customized algorithms, visualizations, and models, and publish customized reports of your findings. You can then share your analysis tools as MATLAB code or as standalone desktop or web applications. The power of MATLAB is that it allows you to automate the process of data exploration and discovery. You can build algorithms and applications which pull in your data, perform the required processing, and then produce a concise report of the results. This means that you can spend less time on cleaning up and trying to gain insights from your data and spend more time on developing solutions to problems. Wherever your data is, you can get to it with MATLAB. The first thing that we're going to explore is the import tool, which is used for pulling in data from files easily. I'm going to open up MATLAB and show you how easy it is to use the import tool to bring in an Excel spreadsheet. This is my MATLAB programming environment. To import data with the import tool, I can either click on this icon in the home tab, or I can double click on a file that I have in my current folder. With the import tool, it is a point and click environment where you can select files to import, choose how you want your data to be formatted in your MATLAB environment, choose how you want to deal with missing or non-numerical data, and the import tool also allows you to generate MATLAB code as scripts and functions, which you can use for automating data import. MATLAB has automatic format detection for different types of data, files containing multiple data types. So over here, we have a file which contains date time data and numerical data, and MATLAB has automatically picked up what type each column is. You can use data import options to customize your import and set up your data for your workflow. You can also pull in data from the web using WebRead or setting up a TCP client. More and more companies are struggling to deal with the sheer amount of data which they are faced with daily. This can be gigabytes or terabytes worth of data. We have new data types which are ideal for pulling in and processing data too large to fit in your computer's memory. Data stores allow you to read in collections of large files for processing. Tall arrays are used for reading in files too large to fit in memory and allow you to perform mathematical and statistical operations on your entire data set. To be of use, your data needs to be accurate, but data acquired from numerous sources and repositories is often full of errors, outliers, duplicates, and noise. Before you can begin thinking about developing models, all this data must be pre-processed and cleaned. This is a necessary but often tedious task that can take up valuable time and divert you away from the important work. MATLAB simplifies these time-consuming tasks with pre-processing techniques. Here we have easier ways of dealing with textual data, missing information, dealing with non-numerical data with statistical functions, smoothing noisy data, and dealing with outliers. MATLAB allows you to visualize your data with a multitude of different plots. 
You also have easy to use apps with MATLAB code generation. There are easier ways of customizing plots, allowing you to label your plots using rich text labels and text support for Greek characters. You also have a single data type with, for working with and plotting date and time information. Your axes also automatically scale when you zoom into graphs. And as we mentioned before, you can generate MATLAB code from within a figure window. Before learning more about the capabilities of MATLAB for predictive modeling, I'm going to give a brief overview into machine learning. Machine learning can be split into two main types of learning. You can use unsupervised learning for when you have input data, but do not know the outcomes of your data points. You can create clustering algorithms to make sense of your data and make inferences based on the relative positions of your data points. Supervised learning is used when you have the inputs and outputs from your data. You can use regression algorithms like logistic regression and curve fitting for continuous data sets. And you can use classification algorithms for data which have discrete classes or classifications. Finding the right model can take a lot of time and it often requires lots of experience in statistics, machine learning, and other advanced techniques. With MATLAB, you have immediate access to pre-built functions, extensive toolboxes, and specialized apps built by industry experts. You can quickly select and identify the right features for a model, and then iterate through additional models to find the best algorithm for your application. You can compare machine learning approaches like logistic regression, classification trees, support vector machines, and ensemble methods, and use model refinement and reduction tools to create an accurate model that captures the predictive power of your data. Now that you have an accurate model, you want to make it available to, an to analysts and other domain experts by integrating it into your production systems. You can integrate analytics developed in MATLAB into production IT environments without having to recode or create custom infrastructure. MATLAB analytics can be packaged as deployable components compatible with Java, Microsoft, .NET, Excel, Python, and C and C++. You can share standalone MATLAB applications or run MATLAB analytics as part of a web, database, desktop, or enterprise application. MATLAB also allows you to automatically generate embedded code to deploy onto hardware. So you can generate C and C++ code, HDL code for FPGAs, and PLC code for programmable logic controllers. You can also automatically generate reports in the form of HTML or PDF documents and create code reports, which you can then share with colleagues. Now that you know a little more about the capabilities of MATLAB for data analytics, we have some pointers for how you can take this further. At Optinum Solutions, we have a technical support team of engineers and scientists. If you have a technical question about the tools, please contact us and we will get back to you with resources and answers for your problem. If you would like a trial of the tools, MATLAB and any other toolbox, you can request a trial from our sales team. You can also ask us about training or visit our website at www.optinum.co.za and look at our training courses by Learning Path. Thank you for listening to today's webinar.